Wheezing occurs when there are vibrations of the airway wall that are caused when air flows at a high velocity through a narrowed airway. This is referred to as bronchoconstriction. So what that means is when air rapidly flows through an obstructive airway, it creates a high pitched sound that usually occurs on expiration and that is what we refer to as wheezes. So in order to understand wheezing, you need to know the causes of a reduced airway diameter. Some of the common causes that you will see are bronchospasm, mucosal edema, inflammation, tumors, foreign bodies, and pulmonary edema. As the airways initially start to narrow, there will actually be an increase in the velocity of airflow. This will cause the lateral wall pressure to decrease. And when this decrease in pressure occurs, the lateral walls of the narrowed airway pull closer together and the airflow stops. And when the airflow stops, the lateral wall pressure increases and the airway opens back to the previous position. This cycle continues to repeat itself many times per second and that is exactly what causes the airway walls to vibrate and make the high pitch sound that we hear when a patient is wheezing. So when you have a patient that is wheezing, it's important to listen to the pitch and the duration of the wheezes. So let's say after listening to a patient, you notice a decrease in the pitch and length of the wheezes. This typically means that the patient has shown improvement in their expiratory flow. So here's another example. Let's say you're a respiratory therapist and you've been ordered to provide a bronchodilator breathing treatment for a patient. Before the treatment, you listen to the patient's breath sounds and they are wheezing. Before the treatment, you notice that the wheezes are very high pitched and they are present during the entire expiratory time. But then after the treatment, you notice that the sounds become lower in pitch and they occur only late in the exhalation. At this point, you notice that the pitch and duration of the wheeze have both decreased. This change indicates that the degree of the airway obstruction has decreased and the patient has improved. Alright guys, that's the end of this quick video. If you thought it was helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to learn more about this topic, be sure to watch the other videos on our YouTube channel. And as always, for more information, go to respiratorytherapyzone.com. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.